brought to you by our exclusive fabric partners. Be sure to look for their newest lines of fabric. Hi, welcome to Quiltmaker's Block Network. I'm Carolyn Beam with Quiltmaker Magazine. Today I'm going to share with you Whirly Geek, block number 282. This block was designed by Susan Knapp and Mary Jane Mattingly, and you can find this in Quiltmaker's 100 Blocks, Volume 3. This block has templates that are cut from bands, and that's what I'm going to show you how to do, along with making this block. To make this block, you'll need four different fabrics. Colors don't really matter. The one thing to keep in mind is that there should be good contrast between all of the fabrics. The cutting dimensions and everything else you need to make this block can be found on the right side of your screen. If you'd like to write these down, please pause your video now. You'll need to make two sets of bands to cut your templates. One band has two green strips and a purple strip in the middle. You'll make two of these bands. And one band has a pink and a floral strip, and you need one of these bands. You'll need to use your template plastic to make two templates, one for A and one for B. And you'll notice that we've drawn a horizontal line on the A and a vertical line on the B. You need to be sure that you have these lines drawn on your templates. I've also put some tape on the back just some clear tape that I've rolled to make it sticky on both sides and we'll use this on the, on the bands that we sewed. To take your first band that has the green and the purple and position your template with the drawn line exactly on the seam line. Now you're going to go ahead and cut out around the template. Because this is so thin I don't like to just take a rotary cutter right to it so what I do is use my ruler and line my ruler up on the edge of the template plastic and then cut around it. And you can see that I've cut all around the A template. And then you can take the, take the template off of your piece. And what you'll do to cut the next one is turn it over and line it up on the other green strip. So your, line, your drawn line is right on the seam line here. And you'll continue cutting A templates across your band. You'll cut your B templates in the same way using your second band. Line up the drawn line right on the seam line and then just cut around all three sides. And once you cut one, you'll just move your template down your band to continue cutting. And you'll cut four of these templates. To assemble your block, you'll use the eight template A's that you cut, the four template B's, and the floral triangles. So you'll make this block in four quadrants. You'll arrange two template A's, template B, and a triangle together, and sew those together to make four different quadrants. You'll sew the top two quadrants together, the bottom two quadrants together, and then you'll sew the two rows together. Here is your completed Whirly Gig block. This block lends itself to many fun quilt designs. This first one is a four by four block setting using just the one block in one coloring. For the second design, we alternated every other block and switched two of the fabrics. For this third design, we switched the fabric placement in different blocks and created this fun, scrappy look. Whirly Gig and 99 other creative blocks can be found in Quiltmaker's 100 Blocks, Volume 3. Thanks for joining us today on Quiltmaker's Block Network. I hope to see you next time.